Hey guys and welcome to another video. I live in regional Australia and we do not have the best internet. I have a 50 megabit plan, so games downloaded around 6 megabytes per second. But using this project here, a LAN cache computer, look at that, I'm getting a download speed of 100 megabytes per second. With a faster ethernet controller, even 260 megabytes per second. This is what it looks like, our LAN cache machine. I saw Linus Tech Tips do a video, he used it for a big LAN. Well, I don't host LANs, but I reinstall Windows all the time, having to install games all the time. So I thought, well, maybe this also works for me. So let's build a LAN cache computer. We are using a B550 mainboard from MSI together with an AMD Ryzen 5 5600G. For the LAN cache machine to work well, we need decent storage. I reached out to Team Group and they sent us one of their M.2 NVMe SSDs. It's a 2TB Z340D T-Force Guardia. Team Group also supplied us some RAM. We have a 32GB dual channel DDR4 memory kit with 3200 MHz. And Arctic sent us a cooler, it is the Alpine 23CO. And now we're installing the software. I'm loading the BIOS defaults, set the RAM speed to 3200 MHz, and then we're installing Ubuntu from USB. We're using version 22.04.1, the LTS version. And after Ubuntu has installed, we need to go into the IP settings and set a static or permanent IP address for this computer. Uh, write down that IP address, we need that later. To install the LAN cache software, we have to use the terminal. And I'm not an expert with Linux, so uh, you just go to the LAN cache software and there are instructions we need to install Docker as well as Docker Compose and then the LAN cache software. And I basically copy pasted the uh, commands into the terminal. Use Control Shift V to paste into the terminal. Once you've done all that, you get to the configuration file and here you need to tell the uh, LAN cache software the IP address, the permanent IP address of this computer as well as the uh, DNS address of your router. And that's it. The LAN cache machine is now up and running on a client. So that's the computer where you want to use the uh, caching uh, for Steam and other gaming services. You need to go also into the IP settings and change the DNS server to the IP address of your LAN cache machine. And now you can start installing games. Remember, they have to be downloaded once through your internet, so we're getting the slow speed, but after that, we're getting much, much better performance. First, I'm testing with the integrated gigabit ethernet, and we're getting 117 megabytes per second in Steam. That's absolutely brilliant. And here we have another video. I've changed the network controller to a 2.5 gigabit uh, PCI Express controller as well as using a 2.5 gigabit switch and look at that around 260 megabytes per second. That is very impressive. I also tried Ubisoft with downloading Far Cry 5. Not as fast, we're getting between 70 and 80 megabytes per second. And here we have Epic Games. I'm installing GTA 5. Uh, a little bit slower, around 40 megabytes per second, but it is still a massive improvement compared to using the internet. GOG unfortunately wasn't working, but if most of your games are on Steam, then this LAN caching machine can be absolutely brilliant. So guys, I think this project is a huge success. It performs outstanding. And I was itching to do this project for quite some time, but testing with mechanical hard drives and SATA SSDs that I had lying around, I just wasn't getting full performance. So big thank you to Team Group for sending us some parts, making this video possible. So this land caching project, I don't think this is just for people hosting lands. Maybe you live in a shared house with a couple of gamers and you wanna save bandwidth on the internet. Uh, it does clock up. Uh, the uh, throughput if you want to do voice calls and someone is downloading Steam games. So that could be an aspect where this project 
can come in handy, but also for content creators like me, um, I build a new computer every week, maybe even twice a week, and there are ways to reinstall games with USB and copying over, but sometimes you don't get the latest updates, then you have to go online again and make sure it's all patched. This way with a caching server, you ensure you always have the latest version, and yeah, it's it's really fun seeing Steam downloading games at 260 megabytes per second. I find the topic of networking really interesting. I have two videos, check them out. The first one is how to use a NAS to connect to Windows 98. And the other one is a Xiaomi Wi-Fi 6 router, much cheaper than comparable routers if you buy them locally. Thanks for watching and I shall see you soon with another one.